Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. We had a stream day a couple of weeks ago where we all worked on some holiday builds for the Christmas time. The stream day went off wonderful. Everybody had a great time. I was involved in it. We we streamed, we had fun, and it was a blast. And a lot of people came out and hung, hung out with us, and it definitely made us feel like we need to do this again. So hopefully stream day becomes a regular thing. But let me show you guys what we all worked on. It was the Winter Village that we worked on, and somebody made a nice Christmas tree. Ooh. I never oh I never knew that was up there how could I not know that was up there that's beautiful well anyways let's go check out uh, Christmas village so this is a Christmas village I'm gonna fly around a couple of times just to show you show it off and this was all done <laughs> I, I forgot about that all in one day on stream and it's just simply amazing uh, all the work that was done so let's see over here I'm just gonna go uh, stream by stream I guess um, jam doggy and really Jenny Danny, uh, who I guess does a lot of real carts, made this during their stream. Amazing work. Um, Garden Bunny, one of the best builders in the world. I was going to say one of the best builders on Mr. Craft, but I think that's already known. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> rest of you guys. But one of the best builders in the Minecraft community in general made these amazing places. Um, you know, we got cotton candy, gum, balls, pop rocks, all up. Just an amazingly um, bright, um, adventurous, and uh, smart builder. And she made all these buildings to the side. And, and of course, we have the uh, tall, tall bunny made. <laughs> the beautiful lance lanterns all day so that's what she did basically all day till her stream and during her stream she made this amazing i guess i should have came came at it from this way and also um tom bunny made amazing time lapse to show how this whole area uh works out and i'm going to put a link to that video in the description because it is an amazing video this is her uh, clock tower, her watch tower, that she made during her stream while all day long she was making these. I can imagine making these lights was a little bit repetitive in that. We got a family craft dad during his stream, uh, made a dank, uh, okay, a dank bridge. It's like a covered bridge and it was Christmas up, Christmas up they did with the, do the garland or the the wreaths and the other stuff. Um, I'm a hundred percent sure I should know who made this. I, I'm drawing a blank on who made this whole area because I think it was being a lot of it was being done during my stream, so I was focusing on my stream. I made a couple of oh, here's one like these little ice houses out in the middle of this area uh, nothing special while I was trying to get the feel for the day and what I was gonna do I made this house just for a storage house um, to keep all my extra stuff while I was building uh, so it wasn't it's not that um, great a house or anything but it's a house it's a little different because I never built with ice before I mean I was working on getting rid of the um, you know cutting this out and making it look better so that's what the uh, build looks like in the front I made a couple of trees over there I wanted to expand out the area and realized I was cramping in on my other places but um, it, it's a fairly <laughs> simple house that uses a lot of wood and that's like uh, 
trapdoors over sea lanterns. That's how I lit up the place. And of course, there's a sea lantern in there, and there's some sea lanterns underneath the carpet to light it out. Probably, maybe a little dark here. Use the sea lanterns. Um, so, oops. So it fits pretty good. Um, I made new armor because this armor was about to die. And I haven't even enchanted this yet. So maybe that's something I'm gonna do during this video. But um, this is a full enchant area. You can get the 30 levels and there's a little bit of whatever in there. And you can, you know, do your stuff there and stuff there. It's a house, all right? It's a, it's a house, that's all you need to know. So that's Christmas Village. It's a beautiful place. I love it and um it was a real blast doing this and making this with the other mr crafts um mystics it, it um helped make the server feel connected it was definitely needed and i can't wait until we do this again because this place is beautiful here's my little shader fly by through the town I don't usually do the shaders, but beautiful. But let's go to another place that things were had. Let's go have some fun. All right, this is uh, Voldorius's places place, and uh, we all, all kind of got together on the day and uh, did a dig. I wasn't able to really help him out on the dig itself, um, but I did help a little, and he really um, really paid me fabulously for it. But this is the dig. Um, it is simply huge. The amount of area this is it's really puts into perspective how big the cavern that was on the last Hermacraft season was that scar worked on how big that was because this isn't nearly as big as that and this is huge like really really huge oh um so that was a lot of fun working on this um but he overpaid me. Uh, I didn't even realize when I came to help uh, that he was paying, given anything out. But let me show you what he uh, had given everybody who helped him with this. It's amazing. Check this out. So, um, yeah. That's way overpayment. Very, very nice. Very efficiency and a silk touch. Yeah, okay, so the same same picks as me. Okay, cool. I have backups. So that is simply amazing, the amount of work he put into that. Um, but today's, um, what we are gonna do is finish this up. Finish digging this out, which shouldn't be that big a deal, considering what I've dug with um, the queen and everybody. And also, um, so this won't take too long. Maybe we can get some ideas up for the sides. I know I want to put a kelp farm down here and next to a f furnace array. So I may do that. I may show how to build the kelp farm real quick. If I do end up doing that. Um, but I'm going to have it behind the wall here. Uh, so you can't really see it. But I can't wait, so I'm going to start getting to work on this. So we had another stream day on Mr. Craft, and um, during that stream, I started gathering materials for the quartz, and I had to go and get some more quartz, which I had done uh, to finish this wall, and I had uh, had to go get some more of the terracotta and stuff. But basically, I'm recreating uh, this room here like I said earlier and then we'll deal about think about the roof and stuff and this is there's gonna be a couple of pillars one like in this area one over in that area like so and over there 
to keep up at this place and maybe a partial roof at that level but i am not too sure when i was out getting the rest of this quartz here i did something very bad as you can see i am wearing nothing i have two levels and that's because i killed this slime and i'm not wearing any gear or have any of my tools that is right i died in another and i have no idea where i died in another and i had about a half of an inventory filled with um that white shiny quartz stuff that looks so good in this build on me so eventually one of these days somebody's going to be walking through the nether and if they walk just right into the right area at the right time they're going to see my stuff and hopefully they will recognize that some of the names on it are from me like kma's dagger <laughs> kma's pants things like that so um i'm not giving up hope that all is lost but i'm giving up hope that i'm gonna finish this room in today's episode instead i am gonna take the time to get reacquainted with good gear oh boy i'm in this one episode this is the second time i'm making gear oh boy so i do have the diamonds to do it i have plenty of diamonds i guess i'm gonna have to go to the village farm to buy books for the mending and get a lot of xp from foxtail's wonderful nether killing machine that gives you lots of experience and i will be back to finish this haul next episode along with i have decided in the next episode we are also going to build the kelp farm above my head and a um industrial furnace type array that il mango had made uh next incorporated with the kelp farm so we're gonna have to figure out how to do that together but sadly guys i'm going to cry I actually died yesterday and spent about three hours looking for my stuff. I could have used that time to redo all my stuff, but I'm stubborn. <laughs> and I'm sad. All right, guys. That is right. I am back. I did not end the episode. I went to go edit the episode, and I realized that it was extremely short, and I needed to make more time. Even though I've been recording this episode since before Christmas, it's just been that crazy of a... A new year for me um, so last time I had died and I lost everything and right now you see me with uh, a helmet a perfect helmet and pretty much perfect pants and nothing else I had recouped all my stuff yes that's right I had rebuilt all my armor, all my swords. As you see, there's nothing left except for this diamond silk touch axe that Lord Voldorius gave me. I almost called him Voldemort. <laughs> yes, Lord Voldemort gave me. Um, and then I was working on my thing to complete it, and we will take a look at how far we've gotten. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. We've got most of a roof up there and and all these great things. But I had asked a question to my wife and um, the question was should I have it come in like this on the side too? And she's like, "Yes." And what happens um when that happens is even though I made this huge cavernous hall, um, I'm not filling up the whole thing So moms and stuff have been forming out here because I haven't been putting out torches and uh, It's been quite deadly to me and let's see as you see we got skeletons we've got other things trying to shoot me and We've got all the things and um, I've died a couple of times like that <laughs> Not a big deal. 
but one of the times I died a creeper came along and was shot by a skeleton afterwards and I lost all my redone gear so here I am again back to nothing yeah that's right I'm puking up bones at you just to finish this up so looks like I'm gonna be hanging out getting some items getting some levels over at Fox's incredible nether um, wither skull thing that's how I got all these wither skulls and by the way it's uh, let me get out of this view it's a stupid view to be in you see all these wither skulls um, this is for me AFKing at his place trying to get some levels so I could put my books together to create the armor that I wanted twice and all my stuff twice I thankfully didn't um, Lose, have another pair of elytra to lose but I am going to spend my time and finish up the ceiling here and you see now there's a uh, creepers up there oh, it's a uh, it's a situation that isn't fun and as you can see we got things uh, I don't know. I kind of wish I didn't have this come in. I might just push it back up again, but I don't know. I kind of want to see it complete. So this video that's taken like three months to make ugh, could be so much better too. I just get so frustrated when I lose everything. Not once, not twice, but three times. No. Um, yeah, I lost all my white concrete too. I had about 10 stacks of white concrete, which is what that ceiling's made out of, and I'm gonna go fish for those too now. All right, I have finally done it. I have finally finished the ceiling of this roof and this room. I started this room way back when there was Christmas chests over there and not regular chests. It's now February, almost March. This video has been a long process of me dealing with the fact that I do not have enough time to do what I want to do. But I am going to focus more time on doing content creation in the future. And Mr. Craft products in general. So I'm kicking it back into high gear is basically what I'm saying. The room is done. It looks pretty good. Um, I did the same sort of thing I did over here. You see how the there's a 3D area to the top part? Oops, I kind of did that over here also. So there's a 3D area to that top part. And why is uh, Minecraft sounds not on? There we go. Minecraft sounds back on. We got that loud, yep. So. Um, basically what I have to do now is <laughs> I've been working on getting my my skull heads too um, and just to recap I have lost my stuff three times this episode and then I found the guys who stole my stuff so I got most of my armor back and some of my secondary stuff back but I did lose most of my stuff in this episode and it was, yeah, it was the best thing in the world <laughs> But, um, that's okay. Uh, the worst thing was the elytra. And if I was really worried about it, I can ask somebody for an elytra so I can go f get myself an elytra and return it back to them. But to me, it's not that big a deal. So, in the next episode, right behind my head, I'm going to build a... A kelp farm. I'm building a kelp farm. Yes, that's right. One that I don't know, I think Cub Clan came up with it, and it's gonna connect to a smelter, the old mango super smelter. So this room this little area will at least have something productive about it. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the ceiling or the uh, floor in both of these rooms. Find another place for my my beacon full of Wither skulls. My beacon full of wither skulls. That's what it is. My beacon of wither skulls. But anyways, guys. The second exit in this video. Have a great day, guys. Goodbye.